हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर सेवन ऑन पार्शियल ऑर्डरिंग इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू ड्रॉ हैश डायग्राम ऑफ ए गिवन पार्शियली ऑर्डर्ड सेट इन दिस लेक्चर आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द हैश डायग्राम फॉर द पार्शियल ऑर्डरिंग व्हिच इज इंक्लूजन रिलेशन ऑन द पावर सेट ऑफ एस वेर एस इज गिवन बाय सेट कंटेनिंग ओनली वन एलिमेंट एज वेल एज वेन एवर एस इज सेट कंटेनिंग टू एलिमेंट्स हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी वी हैव टू ड्रॉ दी हैश डायग्राम फॉर दिस इंक्लूजन रिलेशन ऑन दी पावर सेट ऑफ एस वेर एस इज गिवन बाय दिस वन एंड टू सो फर्स्ट वी विल ड्रॉ दी हैश डायग्राम फॉर पावर सेट ऑफ एस वेर एस इज गिवन बाय सेट कंटेनिंग ओनली वन एलिमेंट and then we will uh, do the uh, drawing of hash diagram for set s having two elements before drawing for hash diagram we have to write down the power set of s and we know that power set of s is the collection of all possible subsets of given set s here this set has only one element so there are only two subsets of s one subset is empty set and another subset is set itself that is phi and set s that is set containing only uh, one element a and we have to consider partially ordered set power set of s with inclusion relation if you recall in earlier lectures we have shown that if we consider inclusion relation on the power set of s then it is a partially ordered set so this power set of s is a partially ordered set under this inclusion relation now we have only two elements in the power set of s so we have to draw two circles for hash diagram and uh, we know that if uh, two elements are related to each other in the given power set Uh, for example if we talk in general suppose p is a power set with this partial order relation and if x and y are two elements in power set p and if x is less than y that that means x is related to y and x is not equal to y then the circle for x is drawn below the circle for y in this uh, case our relation is inclusion relation and our set is power set of s and under this inclusion relation uh, we have this phi is a subset of this set and phi is not equal to this set therefore i can say that phi is less than set containing a or phi is a proper subset of this set the inclusion relation is given by this uh, set of all these ordered pairs ab such that a is subset of b and the corresponding relation which we denote by less than notation for this inclusion relation will be a proper inclusion or proper subset so here phi is less than this set that means phi is a proper subset of this set which is set s itself so we will draw the circle for phi below the circle for this set a this is the circle for set a set containing a or given set s and this is the circle for phi and uh, we uh, we join these two elements or these two circles by a line if this uh, element covers this element so we recall the definition of cover if i have two elements x and y in a partially ordered set then y covers x if x is less than y and there is no z in a given set p such that x is related to z and z is related to y and here we have only two elements set phi and set s itself 
and uh, phi is less than this set S. Therefore, it is obvious that set S covers this empty set phi. Therefore, we will join these two by a line. And this is the required hash diagram for given partially ordered set which is power set of S under inclusion relation. This is the hash diagram of a poset which is power set of S under inclusion relation. Second set is set S containing two elements. So we have to first write down the power set of S which is having two elements. Set S has two elements and we know that if a given set has n elements then its power set has 2 raised to n elements. Here n equal to 2 so we must have 4 elements in the power set of S. So we have to write down all possible subsets of this set S. One possible subset is phi. Then sets containing singleton elements, single elements, and then set S itself, that is set containing two elements A and B. And here again we have to decide that uh, which element is covered by which element. And uh, before that we have to see that which elements are related to each other. For example, these two are not related to each other because this set is not a subset of this set and this set is not a subset of this set. Phi is related to both the sets. Phi is related to all the sets. Phi is a subset of A and Phi is a subset of B and Phi is a subset of this set also. So let me write this also. Phi is a subset of set S. But you can see uh, this set containing A is a cover of phi and this set is also a cover of phi but this set S is not a cover of phi. S is a cover of phi if phi is a subset of S and uh, phi is not equal to S and there is no set in between phi and S such that phi is a subset of that set and that set is a subset of set S. Again I repeat this set S covers set phi. If phi is related to S, phi is different from S and there is no subset of power set of S such that phi is a subset of that subset and that subset is a subset of S. But here we can see if I consider set containing A then we have phi is a subset of A and A is a subset of S. Therefore phi is not covered by set S and it is obvious that phi is covered by set A as well as set B because phi is a proper subset of set A as well as phi is a proper subset of set B and there is no other set in between these two sets such that this condition is satisfied. So sets A and B both cover empty set phi and uh, this set set containing AB will be a cover of set containing B as well as set containing A. If I consider this set containing A then it is obvious that this is the proper subset of set S and there is no set suppose we consider set as capital Z there is no Z which is a element of power set of S such that phi is a subset of Z and Z is a subset of power set of S. Therefore, this element or this set is covered by set S or set S is a cover of this set containing A only because A is a proper subset of S and there is no Z which is a subset of S. There is no subset of S such that this condition is satisfied. Therefore, S is a cover of set containing A. 
similarly if i consider set containing b then s is a cover of set containing b also therefore these two singleton sets a and b are covered by s so what we have seen that empty set is covered by set containing a and b so i can represent those two sets by uh, circles and both circles are above the empty set phi because both covers empty set phi and i will uh, join these circles by a line because these two sets covers empty set phi and uh, set s or set containing a and b is a cover of these two sets therefore these two will be joined by a line segment and these two will also be joined by a line segment so this is the hash diagram of the power set of s under inclusion relation where s is a set containing two elements a and b now you can have one confusion or doubt that why i am writing a on this side can i write b on this side or a on this side so if you are interchanging the positions then you will obtain another hash diagram suppose instead of writing a on this side i am writing set containing b and set containing a in this way then this is also correct this is another hash diagram of the same partially ordered set therefore remember that the hash diagram of a partially ordered set is not unique you may have more than one hash diagram for the same partially ordered set